Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter! That's me. <laughs> Peter! <laughs> Sounds like someone's screaming at me. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> review stuff. And yes, I'm back for another Starbucks drink. Today, we're going to review the new and improved. No, it's not improved because it's new. We've been waiting for it all summer. And now they're releasing the pumpkin spice latte next week. And they finally decided to release the uh, Kiwi Refresher right in time for the pools to close. Anyway, today we're going to uh, review the Kiwi <laughs> Refresher. I'm actually really excited about this. Um, I saw somebody the other night at my meeting. They had one in their hand. And I was like, ooh, that looks so good. And so I asked them, I said, what is that? And they're like, it's the Kiwi Refresher. Um, so anyway, I'm really, really excited about reviewing viewing this drink today because I love kiwi. It's one of my favorite fruits. I mean, you all are my favorite fruits, but kiwi, kiwi and mangoes are my two favorite fruits. I just texted my friend who's like losing her mind with this e-learning stuff. And I said to her, I said, don't even worry about it. You only have two. I said, don't get down. I said, don't even worry about it. You only have 268 days left of e-learning. <laughs> She texted me back and she said, what did she say? It's so funny. She said, oh my God, he's going to be brain dead before this whole thing is over or, or said and done. She said, or maybe that's me. I'm not sure which. Probably both. <laughs> I have so many friends of mine that have their kids in this e-learning thing at home. And, you know, I feel bad for the teachers. I feel bad for the kids. I feel bad for the parents. I feel bad for everybody involved. But this whole e-learning thing has just got to be so difficult. You know, especially like uh, my mother, I could tell you back in the day, listen, she could not do math, okay? I count like this, four to five, five to six, six. You've seen me do it, okay? My mother, she was half of that. I don't know what half of that is, but she was half of that. She just could not count to save her life. She just couldn't. And she couldn't work a calculator either, so we were both of us screwed. Anyway, um, today we're going to review the Kiwi Refresher. I was just kind of hanging out here at the Speedway before so I could get started. Um... Little ditty about Jack Dine. I was just singing that song. That is my least favorite John Mellencamp song. By the way, if you live in Indiana and you don't like John Mellencamp, what is wrong with you? John Mellencamp is from Indiana. In fact, it has nothing to do with the video. This is just a kind of little trivia for you in case you're ever playing Trivial Pursuit. Do you remember Trivial Pursuit? I loved it so much. You know what my mom said to me one time? She goes, I just realized you only like this game because it has the pies in it. I was like, did she just call me out as being a large margin charge? And I wasn't even at the time. But I do like pie. I love pie so much. But anyway, um, and I do love Trivial Pursuit. I'd always, I'd always I'd go for the pink one, entertainment, because that was the only one that I was. The pink one and the brown one. What was the brown one? Literature. Literature and entertainment. Those those were the only two that I knew anything about. The rest of them, I mean, it was hit or miss. It was all guesswork, you know? So anyway, but I did love Trivial Pursuit. Now they have it, like the games you can play online. They just have to like dumb everything down, don't they? We can't actually play a board game with real human beings. It's like, get online, you know? Join a bunch of people that you've never met before. It's like, we couldn't actually sit as a family in the same room, in the same house, and actually enjoy a game together, you know what I mean? Um, although I will tell you, at Christmas, uh, my husband and I and my cousin Caroline and her husband Mike and their son David and then Caroline's um, stepson and his wife, we played um, this game and I can't remember what it's called, but you do it like with your phone. I know I just said that about the board game, but this was kind of, we were all sitting in the same room in the basement. It was so much fun. I never wanted to leave. We played it for like two hours and it was like, you had to guess stuff. You, it's called like Jack in the Box or Jack, Jack and Diane. <laughs> Two American kids growing up in the heartland. Is that how it goes? I thought it said as fast as they can. Growing up as fast as they can. They did too. If you listen to that song, they were full of sin. That song is a full of sin song. It really is. But anyway, we played that game and that game was so much fun. And it was like, you had to like guess words and stuff. You know what I mean? It was kind of like hangman and all that kind of stuff. I liked that. that I liked that game. But anyway, my lord, everybody is out at the Starbucks today. There's about 10 cars ahead of me. Anyway, let me tell you a little story, okay? Now, my good Judy and I, uh, from, he and I have been friends now for, let's see, going on 20 years. Okay, this year is our 20th year. Oh 
we've been friends. Uh, we went on a date, and then we realized the next day, after I'd had about 15 shots of tequila, family friendly, true story, okay, um, that that probably, it wasn't best for us to date, that it was just best for us to be good friends. So we've been good GDs for 30 years, but anyway, um, he one time, we went to Farm Aid here in town, and uh, John Mellencamp was playing, and he was one of the last people to play, and so we went, and we heard like Neil Young and everybody like that, right? And then John Mellencamp came out, and I was like, do you care to hear John Mellencamp? And he was like, no. Like, John Mellencamp, y'all don't understand if you're not from Indiana, okay? Like, every jukebox and every bar in Indiana is filled with John Mellencamp, okay? You grow up hearing John Mellencamp on the radio till you're sick and tired of the words, okay? But, like, I mean, it's just kind of been background noise to me. Like, I never really listened to John Mellencamp. Like, I couldn't, like, name five songs of his that I liked, except for Cherry Bomb, because my good GD, uh, Jenny and I, we really liked that song in high school. But anyway, other than that, like, I didn't really, like, know a whole lot of John Mellencamp music, right? So we were had pavilion seats for Farm Aid, and we started to walk out, and John Mellencamp came out, and he started playing R.O.C.K. in the USA, and I mean to tell you, this line is so long, is what I mean to tell you, no, I mean to tell you that that audience went crazy, I mean, they literally went crazy, like, show-stopping crazy, okay, and we both kind of, like, turned on our heels, like you do when you're two gays at a John Mellencamp concert. No, but like we did though. We were like, hey! No. And uh, so we turned around and we were like, oh my God. And we hustled right back to our seats and we stayed for that whole concert. And that was one of the best concerts I've ever seen in my entire life, right? Okay. Then <laughs> I start dating my ex. And my ex is from Seymour, Indiana, which Tanya appropriately referred to as up in the bleachers with Seymour Butts. So corny, isn't it? But anyway, my ex from, was from Seymour. Yeah, people are like getting out of line because this line is like super, super long. Um, so he left the line. He said, I've had it, I'm done with that. That's fine, because they'll just get us up to the, the, the front faster. But anyway, my ex was from Seymour, Indiana. And when you pull into Seymour, Indiana, there's a sign and it says, welcome to Seymour, Indiana, home of the Oktoberfest, the, the, the first uh, weekend in October and the birthplace of John Cougar Mellencamp. And I'm like, ah, I love John uh, Mellencamp. So anyway, um, and then with my ex, we started going to all these bars when I was friends with him. Not like hanging out, getting drunk bars because I was sober, right? But we would go to like O'Brien Street off of 51. If you live in Seymour or Southern Indiana, you know what I'm talking about. We would go to like O'Brien Street and these bars like that. I have my own pool stick. I still have it at my house, okay? I can shoot pool like nobody's business, little a side secret for you. But we would put all the money in the jukebox and we would play John Mellencamp, like, you know, Little Pink Houses and all that kind of stuff. And actually, actually, there's a rest for, <laughs> restaurant, I'm like stumbling over my words. There's a restaurant in Seymour. <clears throat> It's actually between Jackson and Seymour, and it's called Rockford Place, okay? And I can't remember, they have something that's kind of like a Big Mac, but it's not. And it's called like the Little Rocky or something like that, and you can go there and get it. But it's this drive-in restaurant, and you can look it up. It's called Rockford Place. Look it up, Rockford Place, um, Seymour, Indiana, and right next to it, like up on this little hill, is the house that John Mellencamp grew up in, or where his parents live now, or something like that, I don't know. There's always like Range Rovers and Porsches and stuff in the driveway. But anyway, that was like, uh, I remember the first time we were sitting out there and my ex was like, that's that house and that little pink house is song. I said, you are kidding me! And then did you ever see the, mo the movie Fall From Grace? And then, if that wasn't enough, John Mellencamp, he ended up marrying Elaine Irwin, like the most beautiful supermodel in the world. Well, I mean, besides Christy Turlington, Naomi Camb Campbell, and Linda Evangelista, but I mean, you can't. Okay, it's my turn. <laughs> so hold on. Oh, I'll be right with you. Okay, thanks. Can I get a venti um, iced blonde Americano with one and a half equal? One and a half, of course, one and a half. Anything else for you? Yes, I need to get a grande kiwi star fruit Starbucks refresher. Uh, the kiwi star fruit Starbucks refresher. For sure, and what size do you want to do? Let's do a grande. All right, and a grande. Nope, that's it. Okay, thanks, Jacob. Um, so that drink is 90 calories, and just so you know, this guy in front of me, 
Oh, he's got a dog in the back too. This guy in back in front of me, he drives a black Jeep Wrangler, um, just like my husband, and he has long hair that's down to like here, and it's dark brown, and he has um, a full beard, and he is very very tan from being in the sun, sun all summer, and he's extremely good looking. Do you want me? To, do you want one guess who he looks like? Yeah, I'm driving behind Jason Momoa. Oh my God, Aquaman, he's gorgeous. This guy in front of me is gorgeous. What if he buys my drink for me? Does that mean a flirt? Is that a flirt? He's probably like, I'm gonna buy a drink for Santa Claus so I get a nice present for Christmas. <laughs> I wish I could show you. He keeps on looking in the rearview mirror at me. He's like, probably like, why is that crazy person talking? I so wanna just like show you, if I, but I can't because then you'll see like his license plate. He has, he has a bumper sticker that says OC on it. And then he has a bumper sticker that's a crab, but it's an American flag. Here, I'll show you, see? There's his car. <laughs> anyway, he does. I think it's Jason Momoa. Okay, I'm not gonna make you guys wait the next two car lengths, so um, I will, when I get up there, I will, <laughs> we'll join again, okay? Okay, he paid with a Starbucks card, so he's not like, or like a credit card, so he's not like a real Starbucks person. Hi, Anna How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, how are you? Good, I should have this pulled up, I'm sorry. I don't know what that means. Um, today, I know that today, between I think it's 2 and 7, we're doing like a buy one, get one on the drinks. Yeah. Because the grande or bigger. Oh, is it? Can I apply that to that? Uh, let's see. You can today, yeah. Let's do that then. So here, I have a question for you. Okay. That guy that was ahead of me, uh -huh. did he look like Jason Momoa or was that like disguise of the rear window? <laughs> Probably Jason Momoa if he had white hair. He had white hair? I think so. The guy with the beard and the high ponytail up that he pulled his Was hair? Was I not paying attention? I don't know. You're like, hair. no, that's you. You're the one with the white hair. Me. <laughs> he didn't have white hair. All right, did you have our seat? No, I don't need one. Thank you, though. Thank you so much. No, I'm good. I don't need straws, yeah. Look at that. Thank you so much. Have a good one. No, I'm good. Thank you. You too. She was super sweet. I don't know her. Oh. Okay, the guy in front of me definitely had brown hair. <laughs> like, dark brown hair. This girl right here, I have to show you this. This is so funny. Okay. She's like on a Zoom call. <laughs> and she's like like this, shouting. <laughs> she's like this, shouting. She's like, and another thing, and another thing. I'm like, girl, you're on a Zoom call in front of Starbucks. I know you think you're at home, okay, having a white claw party. This is not a white claw party. Okay, this is Starbucks. Pull it together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> White Claw Party. That's what my husband called them. <laughs> We're having a White Claw Party tonight. Okay, you ready? Oh, I'm not gonna do both drinks. That's stupid, isn't it? I heard that they don't, they put the sticker over there because they don't want you taking cute selfies. That is so rude. Anyway. <laughs> I'm really excited about this, but can we just get up on this? Okay, this looks like dirty lake water. <laughs> There's been of like kiwi in it. It's kind of scary when you get up on it, okay? It looks like <laughs> dirty lake water or I could think of something else that it looks at. Like. It starts with a it starts with a P and it ends with S, okay? But I'm just saying <laughs> it looks like that kind of water. I'm kind of really excited that it tries. <laughs> oh my lanta okay um <laughs> cheers to all that in description oh my god it's like eye-watering tart um do you know what okay Do you know when you eat granola, 
and it has like the pieces of apple in it that are like hard, but they get soft like in the milk. Do you know what I mean? That's what the kiwi test stuff tastes like. Like it doesn't taste like actual fruit. It tastes like like dried fruit, like air dried fruit. It's good though. That's funny that I said that about apple because it almost kind of tastes like sour apple, Jolly Rancher. Yesterday, Josh said that it tastes like Jolly Rancher. And I talked to my friend on the phone and she was like, it tastes like candy. And I was like, like Jolly Ranchers. And she's like, yeah, it is tart. It does taste like Jolly Rancher. It tastes exactly like a sour apple Jolly Rancher is what it tastes like to me. I mean, exactly. In all honesty, I could do without the fruit pieces in it. Like, the fruit pieces kind of add to it. But they don't even really look like kiwi to me. I mean, they do. They're just kind of disconcerting when you taste them because they don't really taste like kiwi. You know, like when you taste into, you like bite into a kiwi, like it's really soft. Like, it's not. It's like kind of hard and chewy. Not like a piece of straw, not like a piece of sausage gristle, <laughs> but don't, okay? If you have ever bit into some sausage gristle, you'll never forget it. Not like that, but just like, I don't know. If I was going through, it's definitely one of the stronger refreshers. It doesn't just taste like a, uh, like a, like a flavored water, like I've said. It definitely tastes, like it tastes like an actual drink, you know, that you're paying for. And for 90 calories, I don't think it's that bad. Um, if I was going to go through and I wanted something really refreshing, I would definitely get this. Like, hands down. I would give this a 4.8 out of 5. Like, I like it. But I love apple stuff, too. I'm telling you, it doesn't taste like kiwi to me. It tastes like a sour apple. I just realized I forgot my pool key. And... I've got all my things here ready to go to the pool. Look, I've got my beach towel. Oh my lord! Here, should I do that as a thumbnail? Anyway, 4.8. I'm gonna take my drinks to the pool. I'm gonna go get my key first. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. I love you, and if you see Jason Momoa, tell him I said hi. Anyway, I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.